couple of hundred years ago, one man, his son, and a single horse could transport 20 tons of coal in a simple wooden boat on a thin strip of water. So I don't know if any other craft has been on here over the last 250 years, but I certainly haven't. This is Telford, initially planned and built in the 1960s, and originally it was called Dawley Newtown. But later it was dedicated to Thomas Telford, who was the surveyor of public works in Shropshire in the late 18th century. My name's Bernie Jones. Uh, I'm the chairman of the Shrewsbury and Newport Canals Trust. Well, here at Wappen Jewel Junction, you might call this the heart of our canal. It's approximately halfway along its 24 and three quarter mile length. And it's very important historically and from a heritage point of view. And we, we have great plans that are going to be funded by the Heritage Lottery Fund to restore these wonderful buildings behind me. The ultimate aims of the trust uh, are to put the whole of the 24 and 3 quarter mile length of this wonderful canal back into water and open it up to navigation again. I'm Julie Harris, I'm a trustee of the trust. I also coordinate the work parties here at Wappenshaw. Volunteers play a very important role in the work we're doing throughout the trust. Well here we are in Shrewsbury. This is the very first work party that the Trust has had in this part of the uh, canal. And we're here today, we've got a bunch of volunteers that have come from both the Trust and from Harper Adams College. Those 18th century canals started to make money. And soon speculators saw the chance to invest in more canals. And within a few years, what's affectionately termed canal mania had begun. I'm Richard Vobes. I'm the bald explorer. And in the next programme, I'm exploring the abandoned Shrewsbury and Newport Canal. Join me for another exciting exploration into some of Britain's best heritage. <laughs>